you go as coach and staff, that's probably got to make you as happy as can be, that performance today. Uh, well, yeah, we've won, so yeah, delighted. Um, some things we think we can do better, um, we'll keep working on them, but the most important thing now is, yeah, we'll enjoy the win for about three minutes, and now we've got to move on very, very quickly. Looking back at the game, uh, very clinical from the forward guys, four goals, it's always a bonus, isn't it? But especially James Henry, two goals from him, and one goal as well earlier, Forest Green, first game of the season. Where's ja yeah. yeah, James' is finishing is good, you know, we see it in training all the time, and you know, he's dipped in with goals all his career, isn't he, you know? So, yeah, look, he, he, both, both the ones he took were great. His passing behind for Ash, Ashley Akpan, what a cross, what yeah. a finish. I'm delighted for Ash, you know, so, and, and for James. Uh, and for all the boys, you know, it's been a good afternoon. Yeah, what I was going to say about Ash is come on to make his full shots debut there today. I mean, brilliant player, isn't he? We've all seen it behind the scenes, but he he's can show been, that today. He's been very, very patient. There was times last season I felt a little bit sorry for him because he was travelling up and down the country with the squad and basically just doing his after-match running, you know, and uh, he, he deserves the plaudits that he might get this afternoon. I don't want to go to his head, you know, he's a good lad, you know. But we know he's a good player uh, and we know what he's capable of. His, his attitude's been first class and he's, he's been unlucky that it's taken this long to get him on the pitch. But, uh, you know, good, good for him, really pleased with him. And looking at Oldham's record so far this season, before the, the ball was kicked here today, they haven't actually lost so far this season. I know it's only the beginning, isn't it? But yeah, it's only been a couple of games. Yeah, but today, to so inflict like, a defeat like that on them has got to be a good, good encouragement well, for them. It doesn't matter whether it's Oldham or whoever, you know, when you, when you have that kind of certainly second half performance uh, and that sort of being clinical in front of goal um, you know it's, it's always nice you know but whilst we can say that there's only been a few years before this one we've only played four games there's a, there's a long long way to go and we've got uh, a lot of work still to do to get better and better because there was some things today that you know, the gaffer right isn't too happy with we just need to polish up on a few bits but like, as I said we'll enjoy, we'll enjoy the result for about four minutes no two minutes now I said three minutes a minute I spoke with Tom before the game and we said about how sometimes a late winner against you is, is tough for the players to take and we spoke about how the players would react to that that's a good reaction to that isn't it yeah look no, you know I thought the back three again were very very good today um, one particular bit of defending I thought was outstanding was Lackey Bird at the back post from across from the under real real pressure um, I think it might have been from their nine, I can't remember, but it was top, top defending. And, uh, but that's what they're here to do. It's one of the things we've been conscious of is we need to defend our box better. And it's something, I know you see us around the training ground, it's something we work on every week and a hell of a lot. So, um, it's a little bit disappointed that we've let one in, but um, that's life. We'll, <laughs> we'll take it, we won't win too much. And I know. You know, it's, it's, it's always the way when you have games close by, but you know, now we look ahead to Tamworth because you know, we won't have time to do a pre-match interview before then, will we? But you know, a short break, so how do you think the recovery will go? Will there be a training session in between or anything like that? Well, no, not, not as such, um, but you know, we'll have the boys together tomorrow to do, aid work. we will be doing a recovery session, but it's likely to not be on the pitch. Uh, we've just got to get people back as fresh as we can. We've got a good squad. Uh, I'm not too sure what, in terms of what we're thinking at the moment. We'll have a head count obviously tomorrow. See how the players are after a good night's sleep. Um, but that's the most important thing between now and Monday is is to freshen them up a bit and also sleep. And he's had, they had two brilliant nights sleep. Um, <laughs> that'd be really really useful. But that's the best best way to recover. It's sometimes said, isn't it, that um, confidence is goes well helps the legs in runs like this so uh, today's result will help for that yeah I imagine that most of the players even if they're feeling tired they'll find that they're going to want to play again on Monday but obviously that's our job as staff and Tommy as a gaffer to make sure we pick what we think is the right balance for Monday they're, it's a completely different puzzle Monday you know um, I think it's the only 3G pitch in the league as well and it, their, their style of play is very different to what we've come up to today you know so it's going to be a real test um so we just uh, we'll see how we are tomorrow, and uh, we'll we'll go from there.